Hey, it's David Klotz from Express Fitness, owner of Express Fitness. This year we're going to do Mr. and Miss Express Fitness Contest. It's our first year doing this. It's going to be a decathlon of events. The winner, at the end of the day, is going to get a weight belt that says Mr. XF 2016 or Miss XF 2016. It's going to be a great time. we got a lot of people signed up already. If you haven't signed up, sign up sir at the front desk and we also need volunteers on these events. People that are going to be judging form, timing people, things like that. Uh, we've had a lot of questions about how the events are going to be run, uh, what's good form, etc. So we're doing this video to kind of illustrate all those for you. So let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to do to start off the day is we're going to test your body fat and weigh in. You're going to come back here, weigh in at that scale, and then coach. It's going to test your body fat. Right, for your body fat, I'm going to be using the Jackson Pollock four point pinch, which means I'll pinch your tricep, your belly, your thigh, and your side. We'll run those four pinches in the computer and get your body fat percentage. All right, the person with the lowest body fat is going to get a one. The last place person will get the last place of all the finishes. From here, you're going to move on to Villarica High School and head to the track. So we're going to be at the track, uh, Villarica High School. We're going to run the mile first, and then we're going to do the 100-yard dash. First place gets one point. Last place, however many people there are, if there's 30 people, you get a 30. Any ties for like second place, say you got one person that got first, three that got second, then all those three would get twos, and then the next person would be a fifth place, so five points. All right, we're gonna do those two events, and then we're gonna come out here to the empty lot, and we're gonna do the sled drag, and we're gonna do the medicine ball toss. All right, the sled drag, we're gonna have a sled that's 20 yards out. The girls are gonna have a 45 pound plate on it. The men are gonna have 345s. We're gonna have a place for you to sit and dig your heels in, and you're going to be pulling that sled in with a rope. Fastest time will be the winner, obviously. Next, we're gonna have the medicine ball toss. The women are going to have a 10 pound ball. The men are going to have a 30 pound ball. It's gonna be for distance. You get three attempts. You can throw it any way you want to. You just can't cross the line. So best attempt, we'll go to your final score, and then we're taking it into the gym. The bench press will be next. The men are going to do the body weight. Women are going to do half their body weight. Uh, coach is going to illustrate proper form. You're going to come all the way down, touch your chest, come all the way up full extension. I don't care anything else. You can have your butt off the bench. You can put your feet up in the air. You can cross your legs. I don't care what it is. Just as long as you have full range of movement for the rep to count. Uh, we're going to have a judge watching to make sure it touches your chest and a judge making sure you get full extension at the top. So the coach is going to show you one real quick. What would be considered an acceptable bench press? All the way down, touch the chest, comes all the way up. If you need to rest, you get 10 seconds, but it's got to be at the top of your movement where coach is. You can't hold it on your chest in more than 10 seconds. You've got to be holding weight the whole time. Full extension for it to count. The most for the man gets first place, most for the women gets first place. That would be the That would be the That would be the Alright on the pull-up portion, everybody's gonna do the same thing, men and women. The main thing is you're gonna have to have at least an index finger on the serrated edge of the grip. Alright, for a pull-up to count, you have to come from a full dead hang. Arms straight, not bent, all the way up to where your chin is at hand level. All right, so a proper pull up. Start here, pull up chin to hand level. Come all the way down and go again. There's no pull ups like this. These will not count. Any of that crossfit. Or you're kipping or whatever, <laughs> none of that's gonna count either. Your dead legs, dead pull, chin, up above the bar. We will have judges watching to make sure your arms get straight, chin gets above the bar. If you have a question about your form while you're doing it, just go ahead and tell the judge to tell you when you've gone all the way down and that you can go if you need that. No arguing with the judges out there, they are impartial. All right, next we're going to do pistol squats in a minute. However you want to do them. You can do one leg and the other leg, one leg and the other leg. 
Main thing is just making sure you're getting down deep enough. You're gonna have a judge that's watching you to see if your hip goes down the knee level. So the coach is gonna point it out when I get down to the bottom. Coming down here, I would be deep enough. Uh, if you need to touch your foot in between, it's fine as long as it's not helping you up. So if you come here and you do this, that wouldn't count. But if you come here, right there, that would count. You can alternate between legs. Do whatever you need to do. You get one minute to do as many as you can. You'll have a judge making sure you get deep enough and the judge count. All right, next will be vertical jump. All right, pretend we got our nice vertical jump tester right here. You're gonna get two attempts to see how high your vertical is. It's gonna be based on how far you can jump to your normal standing reaching height. So you get here, go through your jump, knock it over. You can take a little rest, then you get to go again, then you move on. Now these past four events, we're probably gonna do these in a rotation. So you're just gonna make your way around the gym, Judges will judge you, and then we move on to the final event. All right, the final event is gonna test your ab strength. It's gonna be six inches. We're going to have probably either a laser level or a string strung across the aerobics room. Everyone's gonna get in there, all the guys, and then all the girls. And we're gonna do this for time. You gotta hold your feet with your legs locked out at six inches above the ground. No more than six inches. You can hold it less, but no more. If your legs go above the line, you're out. If your feet touch the floor, you are out. Now proper form on these. You're gonna lie down on the floor. Your hands can either be at your side, on your stomach. The only thing is they cannot be underneath you. You can't have them under your butt holding yourself up. You can keep your head down, keep your head up, whatever you wanna do. Main thing is your legs have gotta be straight and your feet can go no higher than six inches and they can't touch the floor. Last man standing gets first place. Points go down the line that way. All right, so we've done all the events. We're gonna take all the scores, tally them up. Person with the lowest score is gonna be the winner. First place gets the belt, says Mr. Miss Express Fitness 2016. We're hoping everything's gonna be wrapped up about lunchtime. We're having somebody bring some lunch in. We'll eat some lunch, hand out the prizes. Everybody who signs up before October 15th, it's a t-shirt. If you train with the trainer, we have a little side bet going on. Top three contestants, male or female, their scores go to your trainer score. At the end of the day, the lowest trainer score will be the trainer winner of the day. And on your t-shirts, we're gonna get added team champions with their trainer's logo. Um, if you got any other questions or anything, feel free to contact the front desk or Facebook the gym, we'll get back to you. It's going to be real fun. We've had a lot of signups and uh, it should be a great time. I'll see you out there.